Hi there. It, today is Sunday, May 16th, and this is Return to Creativity with Jennifer Vanderbeek. And I believe this is the week, is this week 20 or is it only 19? I think it might be 20. Oh, I don't remember and I didn't check before I left the house. Um, and by leave the house, I mean walk into the backyard. I have just been um, watering the plants. Yeah. I got stuff planted yesterday. That was like my main project for yesterday. That's all I did. Well, that and cook dinner. Um, and yeah, I'm back out in the garden again because it's a really pretty day and I had to water everything. So I figured, yeah, we'll, we'll do this again. I don't know how, how often I'll do this because right now I don't have anything to sit on back here. <laughs> That's kind of high priority is to get um, a bench or a seat or something that we can put out here. So I can just kind of sit out here and hang out with the plants. Um, I also just walked through a spider web while I was, while I was, uh, watering and bleh, I'm kind of like trying to convince myself I'm not, you know, covered in spider stuff. Um, <laughs> oops, let's see, um, this week, oh, I know I worked on sketches for the coloring book. I don't have any more final pages to show. Um, I still have one more sketch to do. I don't know, this, way, this week was a little weird in that, um, I don't know, I had a couple of low, low days um, uh, as far as like um, <laughs> emotion mood, I guess. Um, low mental health days. Yeah, there we go. Words. <laughs> and, you know, I'm still sorting stuff out and always will be probably, but... Uh, but yeah, so so there was that. Um, but I did get some stuff done. Um, I did another Mashables challenge. Um, again, those are those are really good sources of dopamine right now, just to do something, something, something small, something quick-ish, <laughs> and and get feedback on it. It it yeah, it's good. Um, I. Uh, I don't know. I'm I'm supposed to be doing laundry and work stuff today. I'm probably not going to do the laundry. <laughs> I'll wait till the week to do that or next weekend. You know, it's not it's not critical. It's just eh, the hamper's starting to fill up, so I was going to do some, but um, here let me lean against a palm tree for a little bit. Um, yeah. Oh, <clears throat> excuse me. I clear my throat. Yeah, my ho my voice is real hoarse right now. Ooh, I'm sweating. Um, and I'm not quite sure why. Um, it's just kind of one of those things today, I guess. My energy is real low and something. Ooh, excuse me. Ooh, excuse me while I yawn. And something stole one of my zucchini or yellow squash plants overnight. <laughs> I mean, I printed, I printed, I planted them last night and, um, yeah, I come out to water and one of them is, is gone now. It's, it's, a, it's something dug it up. I'm, I'm presuming a critter of some sort. So that's interesting that that didn't happen last year with the garden tower. Not that I was aware of at least. Um, but again, I knew that not all of them were going to make it. So the fact that there's 12 plants between the zucchini and yellow squash, um, you know, I'm just going to chalk that one up to okay. But I am a little concerned that something, it does look like something was like digging. Um, so yeah, it's probably like a squirrel or a raccoon or I don't know, maybe birds. We've got a lot of birds. I'm kind of hoping that they'll leave the stuff alone. Um, if not, then we may have to do some sort of like hoop house construction over the garden. And, you know, that would almost make me sad because I like having it open and stuff and, and all, but I don't know, we'll, we'll figure it out. Um, but yeah, oh, and even though yesterday did not involve moving heavy wheelbarrows of soil or digging stuff out of the ground, we still haven't planted the trees, but those will wait. For a little bit even though I mean it was still oh, just being out in the sun sometimes can kind of take it out of you I know they say sun is good for, for vitamin D production and mine's in the basement that's why I take a supplement um, and 
you know, but still the sun is, can be really, really draining. And that's definitely what I have experienced like from yesterday and I'm still a little zapped. Um, yeah. So, oh gosh, I haven't even asked. How was your week? <laughs> was it a good one? Was it a less than good one? How are you feeling? <sighs> I mean, I've already told you about mine. Um, so, you know, if you're having a hard week, if you're having one of those weeks where you're just kind of slogging through everything, the important thing is to know that that happens and it's not a mark against us. It's not a mark against your character or mine. It's, we have to learn to be gentle with ourselves um, because that is something that this society in general right now, I think is really lacking. Um, is, is that concept of being gentle with ourselves and allowing time and space for recovery. So like when people like work out a bunch um, and they like go to the gym day after day after day after day, I mean, there are smart ways to do that. They have to make sure that they're not working the same muscles every single day, right? Because that idea that your muscles, when you, when you like lift weights or you do strenuous exercise, your muscles, um, get these like, you know, like they break down a little bit and that's part of it. I mean, that's, that's, that's part of the process, but then you have to give them time to regroup, rebuild, re, re knit, re, re whatever, um, recover. And, and so you work other systems, <sighs> But yet, in so many ways, our society is built, I think, to where we are expected to constantly churn, 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 churn. And if you don't take time for your mental health to recover from a strenuous day, a strenuous week, hell, a strenuous hour, if you've had like a really, in, something really intense happen for an hour or two, it's gonna take time for you to come down and, and, and just find your baseline again. And so I think when we have these bad weeks, when we have our partial weeks or bad days, we really have to be forgiving of ourselves for needing that time to recover. I mean, we, we know we need time to recover, but we're doing it without the guilt. That's, that's like one of the big things. I know that I struggle with that. And so, and, and I know full well that I'm not the only one that struggles with taking the time we need to recover, to, to, to do things um, safely and healthfully. To do that without guilt is really hard. And so I urge you to give yourself that time. And if you had a fabulous week, ride that high. Um, <laughs> Cause it can be, it can be amazing. If you've had a great week and you're like, yeah, I can take on the world. Yeah, you probably can. And more power to you, you know, make hay while the sun shines, all that, you know, bon mot. Uh, <laughs> but when that energy runs out, when that high wears off and you get back to your baseline, don't, don't beat yourself up. Okay. So anyway, that's me for today. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up because I'm going to go sit at my desk and try and get some work work done because deadlines don't care about, um, about what's going on and, and, and <laughs> more could be said about that, but not going to right now. We're just going to leave that one. We're going to let that one lie. <laughs> at any rate, um, I hope you have a great day, a great rest of your week or the week to come, um, let me know what you're up to. Cause I do, I am curious. I'm always curious. Um, and, uh, yeah, I'll talk to you next week. Bye.